Hello there my fellow sim racers, I am the sim rig racer and welcome to today's video which is all about menu screens and options. But wait, don't click away just yet as I'm going to answer the question that every sim racer needs to know. When you're short on time, which sim racing title is the quickest from menu screen to on track action? So come with me as I run a series of comprehensive, scientifically based tests, possibly, to find out when you're short on time, which title gets you on the track the quickest. So come with me after the intro as we start the stopwatch challenge. So here we go. Assetto Corsa is going to be the first title up to see how long it takes to go from menu to pit box so let's get ready get the old stopwatch going so main menu drive we're going to do a quick race select the track we're going to do gt3s so it's got to be spa car let's grab a mercedes gt3 brilliant opponents let's go for tag GT3, let's just clear that. Okay, add visible. There we go. That's all the GT3 cars. We want 100% um, AI. So 100% AI. We're in a GT3 car. We're at Spa. We've got GT3 cars. Let's hit the start. See how long it takes to load up. And then the minute the uh, setup screen comes, is when we're going to hit the uh, stop on the stopwatch. It's loading up all the cars, all the different GT3s. There we go, stop. So, from main menu to the setup screen is one minute. 13.7 seconds so let's find out how all the other sim racing titles stack up in the great stopwatch challenge next up to take on the challenge is Kunos's latest title Assetto Corsa Competizione again the sim racing titles all fired up we are in the uh, opening menu and we're going to find out how long it's going to take to jump into the latest season of GT3 cars at Spa with 100% AI. So, stopwatch is going. Single player. Uh, we want the latest series of cars, 2021. We want to do a quick race, quick race. Opponent skill, 100%. Yep. Uh, what car do we want? Mercedes. Uh, Mercedes AMG. Brilliant. Confirm. We want to race at Spa. Spa. Okay. Realism Pro. Weather. Clear. Yep. Okay, so we're quick race at Spa in a Mercedes in the latest spec. Right, AI 100%. Let's hit. Go race and let's see how long it takes. Screen's all loading up. It's just loading all the cars up in the background. And here we go. We're on the grid. Here's the setup menu. Right. So how well did ACC do? Well, we've come in at 1 minute 6 seconds point 5. So if you want a quick race out of the two Kunos titles, ACC is your way to go. Okay, let's fire up sim racing title number 3. Moving on, sim racing title number 3, and it is of course Automobilista 2. We're going to find out how quick we can jump into again a GT3 race at Spa. Stopwatch is going. 
Right, vehicle selection. Let's make our way through GT3s again. We're going to have the Mercedes. Select the track. Do 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 do. Where's a little bit of spa? 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 Okay, opponents. Maximum available. Same class, so that's the 100%. Save. Quick check. It's a quick race. Clear weather. Yep. Yeah. So GT3's at Spa, 100%. Clear weather. Hit that start button. Let's see how long. With this one, you get, you do get a uh, red bar along the top. Gives us an idea of how quick things are going to load. There we go. He's jumping along, jumping along. Taking its time, loading everything up. Come on, AMS2. We're almost there, and there we go. And there is your setup screen. What are we coming at? 107.2. So, just in the ballpark, same as uh, ACC. So again, not a bad title if you really do want the ultimate quick race. Okay, no time to hang about though. We're going to be moving on to the next sim racing title. Okay, here we go. This is Race Room Racing Experience. We are in the main menu after first firing up the sim racing title. This one's a little odd because they are slowly overhauling the UI. Um, this initial screen is the old style and we'll see it progress through to the newer type of UI when we get ready to race. So we're going to get the stopwatch going and find out how long it takes to get onto a grid of GT3 cars. Okay, single event, cars, GTR3, where do we want? We want the Mercedes, there we go, Mercedes GT3. AI opponents, auto fit. Oh, we've got a. There we go. Apply. Right, we want the spa circuit. Oh, my God. Grand Prix. So we've got. Car, uh, oh, adaptive. We want 100% AI. Right, 100% AI. Noon. We're in the Mercedes. We've got GT3 cars. We're at Spa. 10-minute race. Let's hit go race. Okay, loading, loading, loading. How is this title going to weigh up? Time's ticking on for race room. Time's ticking on. Get ready with the stopwatch. Hopefully any minute now. We'll have the loading screen, but uh, it's certainly taking a while to fire up. It's on a SSD, so... It's got access to the same hard drive as the others. Decided. Yeah. Not the quickest of quick races. There we go. And. Ooh. Two minutes, nine seconds, point eight. About a minute slower to load up. I know we were a little bit behind with the uh, menu options because. Um, wasn't quite so intuitive how to get the, uh, the the AI set up, but the loading times that was shocking. Hmm. Okay, well, well, it is what it is. Let's move on, and let's check out R Factor Two, and see how their new UI compares. Here we go. We're now in R Factor Two, and we are in the brand new 2022. 
main menu and let's see how long it takes us to get out on track stopwatch single player uh what do we do select series all cars all tracks select the track so we want to find spa spa okay that's it car we want to be in the gt3s don't we uh mercedes gt3 so what's that going to be listed under mercedes amg gt3 okay so uh edit the settings practice ai strength 100 percent right opponent filter so is it going to be listed under gt3s gt3 yes okay so we're racing against gt3s 100 percent uh weather preset sunny let's go and here we go now not only is it a completely new ui it's supposed to be much quicker to load than before if anybody remembers the uh, rf2 of as uh, little as 2021 how long it would take to actually get on track but it's zipping through what a difference i think i could find myself uh, diving into this title a little bit more often so remember to uh, hit like and subscribe catch any more r factor 2 content in the future <laughs> quick plug there one way of using the uh, loading time okay we're getting there oh it's slowed down a little bit oh this is going to be in the uh, same ballpark as uh, race through my fear it's just loading everything up i do really like the new clean look though of uh r factor 2 studio 397 have really transformed the front end of this sim racing title the quicker we can get into it the quicker we can get racing enjoying the uh physics and uh force feedback that r factor 2 offers Come on, come on, Ooh, nearly there, nearly there, 100%, and there it is, Ooh. Oh. well, it's the slowest title so far at 259.3, hmm. now it felt a lot quicker, I didn't have so much clicking about and the difference between the menu and this uh, race menu. It seemed to load the track quicker, but just under three minutes. It's the slowest one so far. OK, well, let's move on and let's keep working our way through our list of sim racing titles. OK, last up to face the stopwatch is iRacing. Now, if you want to use iRacing, you have to use their new UI. Um, so when you fire it up, this is the screen you're greeted with. So we're going to find out how long it takes to jump into a GT3 race. So we're off. iRacing. AI Racing, single race, add a track. We want to go to Spa. We want clear race session, 10 minutes is a quick race, race options. No, we don't want to disable car damage. Add a car. What do we want? Mercedes, AMG, yeah. Opponents, GT3 class, brilliant. What's the skill spread? Yeah, that's it, it's 100% track options well it's gt3 so it's rolling start leave marbles on track yeah time of day noon okay so 
that's it. Mercedes, Spa, clear, noon. Let's hit race. And let's see how quickly we can get iRacing to fire up. Right, it's not doing yet. Oh, there we go. Look, it's starting to load now, 5%. We've got the bar as long as, as well as the um, indicator there, 12, 15. Let's see how well it goes. Remember, RF2 has been the slowest title so far. So we're about to find out where this one stacks up. 27%. Well, we now know, looking at the stopwatch, it's not going to be the quickest sim racing title out there. But it's got to come in at uh, under three minutes. Otherwise, R factor two is going to be the slowest. Now, is it is it an age thing with some of these? Uh, is this 2008 title? But and uh, RF two and race room, which were both slow, they're getting on a bit, mind you. Assetto Corsa 2014, and that loaded up surprisingly quick at just over a minute. And you know they all got laser scanned or highly detailed tracks we've picked the same track across all the sims i know the cars in this title are based on cad data but then again so were the the cars in acc so there's no real rhyme or reason they're all loading off of the same ssd So I'm hoping there isn't too many bottlenecks in the system, but we're at 90%. It is what it is. So it's just the architecture behind the uh, menus that affect the loading times. But oh, I think iRacing is going to bring up the rear here. Come on, come on, 97, 100%. Oh, we're ever so close now. Ever so close. We're almost there. We're within touching distance. There we go. And the race menu. Oh, dearie me. 3 minutes 32.6. By far the slowest sim racing title to jump into. Wow. Just shows you the difference between just over a minute to just over three and a half minutes. Well, what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of a, a leaderboard together and we'll rank them. And uh, that'll come in the final part of the video. And this is it. The moment you've all been waiting for. The undisputed, scientifically proven top sim racing loading times. And... If you're short on time and you just want to go racing, then Assetto Corsa Competizione is the best title out there, coming in at just over one minute. If you've got a bit more time on your hands and you don't mind uh, making a quick cup of coffee while you wait to race, then there's iRacing at the other end of the scale at just over three and a half minutes. So, you know, this is just a little bit of fun, really. Just wanted to just wanted to see what the different uh, menu screens and options and load times were like and uh, I was a little bit surprised the difference between the uh, slowest and the quickest but I'll tell you what I'd like to know is what do you think what are your experiences with loading times do you have a specific sim that you jump into when you want to do a quick race or does it not bother you and you're quite happy just to sit back relax and get yourself in the zone while your favorite sim racing title loads up I'd love to know. Please use the comments below to let me know. Well, that wraps up another sim racing video. Now, don't forget, if you liked it, liked it. If you fancy seeing more unusual stuff like this, then please consider a subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'd love to get this out as, to as many sim races as possible. You'll also notice as I shrink down into the corner, There'll be some other videos for you to select. Why not give them a look, give them a like. 
In the meantime, have fun out there on the track and uh, always race hard, but race fair. Bye-bye.